This channel is proudly sponsored by The Red Room Publishing. Please check out the link to their store for exclusive tabletop RPG products. They have recently released Wretched Noir, a setting of star contrasts and flickering hope for the free Wretched RPG. You will find the link in the description and in the pinned comment. Hi! Welcome to this part of my review featuring Mutant Year Zero at Astra. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review, Featuring this follow-up for the Mutant Year Zero campaign, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about Mars. It is likely that the player characters come to Mars in search of Dirac 13, who fled here from the Octomers back on Idun. Dirac has probably crash-landed in the Mariner Valley, and the player characters must head down to the surface to find him. Long ago, the terraforming of Mars began with the aim of making the planet habitable for humans, but the Enclave War put an end to these efforts, as interplanetary nuclear missiles wiped out the huge terraforming stations. The Mariner Valley was terraformed enough for humans to walk on the valley floor with only an oxygen mask. These days Mars is populated by two major groups, the Children of Dust, who have lived in the deep canyons of the Mariner Valley for generations, and the settlers who have arrived in recent years in search of artifacts. The domed cities of Mars were bombed to smithereens during the Enclave War, but one structure survived. By some miracle, the Great Space Elevator, connecting the surface of Mars to the moon of Deimos, remained almost completely intact. Ten years ago, Marcus Lodger, a mutated badger from the asteroid belt, arrived with a vision to reclaim the surface of Mars. A settler community of oxygen tents and patched up greenhouses has emerged, with people from space stations around the solar system coming here to seek their fortune in the ruins. You have details on the spaceport, the shipyards, the void, the space station and the space train. There is tension between the settlers of Orogado, led by Marcus Lodger, and the Children of Dust, led by Tinka Korsakov. As both factions are attempting to thrive and get their hands on any riches that may be found on the Martian landscape. And this concludes this part of the review, in the next part we are going to talk about Jupiter. This Martian situation is quite complex. Not only do the player characters need to find Direct 13, they also need to negotiate or confront the factions within the planet, as well as other threats such as the beast from the bottom of the Mariner Valley. Thank you for watching this part of the review, don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel through PayPal or DriveThruRPG, the information will be in the description and in the pinned comment. This has been Abraham El Jaguar, a professional game master. I am currently unavailable for professional sessions, but I will put my contact information in the description and in the pinned comment for when I am available again. And remember, master roleplay and you will master the game. Once again, thank you and see you later.